hey guys welcome back to my channel this is gh kings on this video i'm just gonna show you guys how to make rice ball so you use rice ball to eat like soup like the one i showed you guys the uh, peanut butter soup or palm nut soup or any soup that you really wanna eat <laughs> rice ball with so um when making rice ball i like to use jasmine rice um lately i have not been eating jasmine rice but when it comes to rice ball like i just have to use jasmine rice because you know jasmine's right jasmine rice is sticky and that's exactly how you want your rice ball to be like you see how sticky the rice is that's how you want your rice um your rice ball to be uh, to be like because when your rice is sticky it makes it easier for you to use this wooden thing to mash it basically or basically stir stir it and for it to turn into a rice ball okay so even with this i'm just adding a little bit of water and that will be it. I'm not gonna add any more water. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let the rice fully cook now because you want your rice to be as sticky as possible. Okay, because the more stickier it is, the more formed your rice ball is going to be like. And basically it's like you cooking you cooking rice, you know. So however you cook your rice, just make it that way. It's just like the only thing is like with rice ball, you just need to add more water to it okay so if you're cooking when you're cooking rice um if you add salt to your rice definitely add salt to it if you don't add salt to it like me don't add salt to it okay so yeah now i'm just waiting for this rice to be fully done it's almost there of course it's sticky now see it's very sticky so i'm just waiting for it to be fully done and then i'm going to make it as rice ball okay so i'm gonna cover it in about 10 15 minutes the rice should be fully cooked and i'm gonna show you guys how i use it to make rice ball hopefully i can i can't do that because hopefully i can do it i can show you See, basically that's what i'm gonna be doing but with more strength <laughs> okay and i'm holding my phone recording i'll see if i can set up my phone somewhere so it'll be easier for you guys to see how to actually make the rice ball so yeah basically that's what i have for now we're just waiting for the rice to be fully cooked and then I'm gonna show you guys how to use it to make a rice ball. Alright, so see you guys later. Bye. Anyway, guys, this is the jasmine rice I'm using. It's the one from Goya. Basically. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how the rice is looking though. It's looking really good. So guys, as you can see, the rice is looking good. It's definitely sticking together. So it's going to be way easier for me to make rice ball with this. And this is how you want your rice to be looking like. So now I definitely don't need no more water to add to this. Okay, this is good on its own. I'm just going to cover it up. The rice is basically done cooking. But I just want the water in, in it to dry up a little bit more before I start making rice ball with this. Okay, rice ball is really not hard to make if you use the rice the right rice <laughs> okay if you use like honestly i make jollof rice most of the time with paraboy rice but you know how paraboy rice it doesn't really get sticky so it's gonna be very hard to use that to make rice ball or like rice water okay so for that i would just use um what you call it jasmine rice because jasmine rice is you know the kind of rice that just it just it's sticky okay it's sticky so it's just easier to use it to make rice balls so yeah basically that's what i'm waiting for is to get a lot of this water out of this rice and then i'm gonna show you guys how to turn this into a rice ball it's gonna be super duper easy because our rice is already sticky so it's gonna be so easy to make rice ball with this okay so stay tuned and also definitely you're gonna need a wooden spoon like this Okay, you can get this from the African market, basically. <laughs> You're gonna definitely need something like that to make the rice ball. Definitely gonna need something like that, okay? So, see you guys. Alright, guys. So, it's definitely time to be making this rice ball. I wanna show you guys how to make it. Uh, my stove is very dirty because today I've been cooking all day. And since I'm not done cooking, I haven't really um, cleaned my stove. So, <laughs> I hope y'all don't judge me, okay? J just don't judge me. Um, because I'm cooking, okay? That's why my stove is pretty dirty. I like to clean my stove when I'm done cooking every single dish that I want to make. And this rice ball is the last one I'm making today. Okay, so let's just get into it. I'm just going to show you guys how I make it. And then I'm going to show you guys how I roll it and everything, okay? So, I'm using the woody spoon. And I'm just turning the rice. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. 
and then I don't know how to describe what I'm doing I'm just using the wooden spoon to turn it onto the side of the pan but you kind of need some strength though as you're making this and be careful so you don't scoop up the rice on the floor and you keep doing this until the rice bar is I mean the rice is very thick and you think you can mold it into a ball okay and in this case since we're using jasmine rice it's gonna be very it's gonna thicken up very quickly okay because jasmine rice jasmine rice is naturally sticky that's why I like to use it to make rice ball so you don't really do a lot of manpower <laughs> work over here so far I think I'm gonna be able to put this into a ball oops that's what I mean be careful so you don't be throwing out the rice on the floor so far yeah I should be able to make this into a ball I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like with just a little exercise that I did with my left hand <laughs> I'm gonna show you all how it looks like and how I'm gonna roll it okay so so yeah guys by mashing the rice on the sides like I mash it like this and then I I, I oops I kinda uh -huh, okay this is a good view I kind of put the rice on the side then I stir it then I stir it and then I turn it that's how I got this consistency okay so like now you can't really tell this is just plain rice you know it looks like a rice pudding but a, a very thick version of it and that's how you want your rice ball to be looking like okay so now it's time for us to mold this into little balls and um, you can mold it as big as you want okay so I'm going to be using this bowl it's a circle okay I got this from Walmart it's like one of my favorite bowls it came with like um a cup it also came with like um some plates some flat plates I really like to use this to make my rice balls and also you're gonna need another second bowl that just have water in okay because whenever you scoop up the rice you're gonna have to dip it into the water before you scoop another rice okay so I have a bowl with water and I'm gonna be using this spoon right here to take this to scoop up the rice and then I have um, a big bowl over here okay then I'm gonna put the rice ball in it so let's just get started on this okay I'm gonna stand behind the camera and just show you how I'm, what I'm gonna do. So first, this is the board I'm gonna scoop the rice bowl in. I'm gonna put some water in here, and you know, gurgle it around and put it back in the board that I have water in. Okay, I do this so the rice don't stick inside this plate. Okay, so now with this spoon that I just dip in water, in cold water, I'm just gonna use it to scoop up some rice, and this is enough rice to make a ball. Okay. And now I'm just going to roll it and sometimes sometimes it's tricky like sometimes when you roll it it doesn't really want to roll because this is the first batch and because it's I didn't put enough water in this bowl okay so what I'm gonna do is to put some more a bit of water on the sides of the bowl so that it will be easy for me to roll it I know this sound it seems like it's very hard right the way I'm rolling the ball let me stand on the side and see if you guys I think you guys oops, can see it like this you just rolling the ball you just moving the ball to roll to roll it if it's your first time it might not work out really well for you but as you keep on doing it you will get it okay I've been doing this since only God knows how old I was so <laughs> yeah so now it's in the ball okay this is our first batch I'm going to be doing this, but I'm not going to be talking, I'll fast forward it, and then when I'm done, I'm going to show you guys how the entire dish looks like, okay? So each time you finish, actually, each time you finish, you need to put that spoon in the water, put water in the bowl, gurgle it around, and take the water out so that the rice don't stick in it, okay? So I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to do the rest off camera, I think that's better, and then when I'm done, I'll show you guys how everything looks like. So I scoop another ball. You can make them as big as you want to, okay? Oh, 
Okay, so this is a perfect ball. So now I'm done with that. I'm gonna add it to the first one I did. So I'm gonna do the rest of camera and then come back and show you guys how many balls I have. Okay. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm done with the rice ball. <laughs> Making the rice balls. It took me about 10 minutes to roll everything into a ball. I'm gonna show you guys how many I got. I got eight. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like and everything. Okay. So with this ball, right? I mean, with this cooking pot. What I'm gonna do is this is the water that I use, so I dump it in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it um in the sink and I'm gonna fill the entire bowl with water. Let me actually yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. Let me show you guys now before I show you guys the rice bowl. So I put it in the sink now. The other um the other plate that I used to the rounded one that I used to roll the balls, I already washed it. And this bowl right here, it was just water in here, so I'm just gonna rinse it with water. And that's it. And now with this one, I'm just gonna fill the entire thing with water. And with the spoon, I, I can you know wash it now. And the woody with the woody one, so I can wash it. So I'm just gonna fill the entire thing with water, and then I'm just gonna wash it. Okay, I'm just taking out the rice from it. And with this, the cooking pot. Uh, I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow. It's too late, and I'm tired. I need to take a shower, and I'm, I'm gonna have to wake up early tomorrow. And I still got some editing videos. You know, I need to edit a lot of videos because today I created five videos. Okay, and I'm like, I'm almost done with the last video, and it's already 11 p.m. And there are a lot of things I'm, I still need to do before I sleep. So yeah, now that I'm done filling this with water, I'm just gonna leave it in the sink. Um, and then I'll come back later on to wash this spoon and the wooden spoon as well. And then, um, uh, basically that's it. Because I need to clean this floor, I need to clean my kitchen basically. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a mini clean, cleaning, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do a major clean in the kitchen. So yeah. So guys, this is how the rice ball is looking like. It looks yummy, 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 yummy. So with the rice ball, you can have it with soup. That's what we do, we do in Ghana. In Ghana, it's called emutuo. Okay, so we eat that with soup. So the soup that I showed you guys last week, um, basically I'm making that soup and this rice ball on the same day, okay? Because that's what I'm gonna be having with this um, soup that I made, okay? So yeah, this is my rice ball and I got eight. I got eight of them in here. So yeah, basically. So this will be it for this video. I hope you guys... So yeah, guys, this will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. And as always, God loves you more. And definitely, guys, if you have any questions about this rice ball or how to make any other thing, please, 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 please let me know. I will gladly make it. And with the soup that I made also, you don't necessarily have to eat that with rice ball. You can eat that with fufu. You can eat that with banku. You can eat that with just plain white rice you can eat that with yams plantains whatever you want you can eat that with pounded yam you can eat that with amala i actually like this soup with amala it tastes really good as well um also what what am i talking about actually eba i don't like amala you can eat it with eba it tastes really good with eba not amala my bad i don't really like amala so yeah this will be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe I love you all and as always, God loves you more and I hope I see you on my next video. Bye!